This is Maya. She is getting her photo taken for a photo shoot. See, there is a photographer and there she is modeling. Anyways, Maya has a boyfriend and he's actually also at the photo shoot, just that he's hiding in this car over here. His name is Cole. And the reason he's hiding is because today he asked us to help him find out if his girlfriend Maya would end up leaving him for another guy who has more money. So we decided to help him by having one of our friends pretend to be rich and then hit on her. And this guy is actually also at the photo shoot. His name is Anthony. But before you guys can watch Anthony hit on Maya and piss Cole off, I have to tell you guys about how we got here. And oh yeah, you guys might want to grab your Takis because this shit's gonna be really, really good. <laughs> Okay, let's take it back about one week from the photo shoot. My friend Madeline texted me saying that she knew someone who wants to find out if his girlfriend is a gold digger. I asked for his details, I texted him, and then I met up with him. When we met up, I asked him exactly why he wanted to test his girlfriend, and he told me... Fuck it, why not? So what if she fails? Bye. Bye. So. You'd still get mad? Oh yeah, of course. But I mean, I don't think she will. I'm, I'm very confident in her. This is pretty odd, because Cole just wants to test his girlfriend just to test her. So that's it. That's it then. That's it, yeah. <laughs> No real, like, underlying reasons, really. All right, look, before you judge Cole, you have to know where he's coming from. He's a model and he's a musician, and he works with plenty of other females. His girlfriend, on the other hand, is really into fitness, but she also has her fair share of working with other males. The point I'm trying to make, though, is that they both really, really trust each other. So again, why would Cole place Maya to the test if he knows that she's faithful? Well, that's because Cole is also a goof and he likes to have fun. So even though, yeah, he doesn't have a crazy reason to test his girlfriend and he's super confident that she'll pass, this test is more about him having fun rather than him not trusting her. <laughs> if you guys are down, I say let's do it, so. I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Is that messed up that he just like wants to test his girlfriend <laughs> just for the heck of it? I mean, I guess it's a little messed up, but we already agree. At the end of the day, it's his relationship, not mine. He wants to do it. We're not forcing him to. And it just makes more entertainment for you guys. Um, I think it would just be like a, a fun test. I think it'd be entertaining and I think she'll handle it well. So Cole has no idea what is coming. This test is the best test in the world. For the first time ever, we're using a restaurant. We got a nice car. We have a lot of money and we have the best decoy in the world. Or at least I think he's the best decoy in the world. This is Anthony. He's playing the decoy in this test, which just means that he'll be the one hitting on Maya. And if he looks familiar, you've seen him before because he's been in other episodes. Hello? Yo, yo, yo! I got the plan for the test. You want to hear it? Let's hear it, all right. So, it's going to be split into three phases. The first phase, Ant is just going to introduce himself to your girlfriend. The second phase is going to be flashing all this money to her. And in the third phase, he's finally going to ask her out, okay? The first phase, I actually want it to happen tomorrow. And it's actually going to be happening at a restaurant. Because you supposedly, sir, have a job interview at this restaurant. You're going to walk in there, and the first thing you're going to see is this waiter. He's not really a waiter. He's my friend. His name is Jay. You're going to walk up to him, though, and you're going to be like, yo, I got this job interview here and stuff. And he's then going to walk you over to where you have to sit down and where you're going to sit down is going to be in perfect line of all of our cameras okay and our cameras are going to be hiding by fake customers that are going to be at that restaurant but don't pay any attention to those customers just act nervous you know because again you're at a job interview when the time is right jay's going to come back for you and is going to be like yo the manager's ready for you and he's going to walk you back there i'm technically i guess you can say the manager so you're going to come back to me and we're it's not really an interview though you're going to be hiding with me in the car and we're going to be able to listen into everything that aunt's about to tell your girlfriend okay the important thing is going to be that your girlfriend is now going to be alone right where we want her. That's when Ant is going to be making his entrance. He's actually going to play the owner of the restaurant, so he's the big shot of it and whatnot. But yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah, check me in the details because to be honest, I missed like half of that. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, I'll, I'll text I'll text you like a brief summary of everything that I just said then. So I end up texting Cole a summary of my plan for phase one. The next day comes and everything goes as planned. Thanks to this restaurant letting us film during their slow hours, we are able to pull off an incredibly believable restaurant scenario. We got drinks, food, and a friendly owner. Now we just have to wait for the moment that Anthony decides to introduce himself to Maya. Woo! Are you nervous? Not really. No. no. I'm not worried. <laughs> like, I trust her. So Okay. I mean, hey, how are you? I'm Anthony. Maya. Maya, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you too. Can I get you anything to drink? Water? Lemonade? Um, I'm actually okay right now. Thank you. Yeah? Guys. Uh, yeah. What about anything to eat? Our empanadas are fire. This guy just got some here. We also got. We were really hoping that Maya would order something. That way, Aunt could cover the bill. But she continues to refuse to. I'm really okay. Thank Best you. in town. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> so then, why would you come into a restaurant if you're not hungry or you're not thirsty? Um, my boyfriend's actually in the back right now. Boyfriend. <laughs> What position did you tell her that you were like a playing for? Bartender. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I've done it before, so she's like, Oh, oh. You'll, you'll, you'll get it, babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the tall, the tall white guy, right? Uh, uh, Kyle, Kenny. Kyle, <laughs> Kenny. Kale. Cole. Cole. Yeah. Cole. That's your boyfriend. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you could do better than that, yo. Wow, this guy <laughs> taking stabs right now. Why does he want to work for me? Like, um, are you the manager or something? The manager? Seriously? Do I look like a manager? Yeah. Actually, I'm the owner of this place. I've been owning this place oh, for about really? like, the last 30 years, yeah. 30 years? <laughs> How old is this guy? <laughs> well, tell me more about this uh, Cole guy, because uh, I, I don't know if he might be a good fit for us. And ultimately, I have the highest say so whether he gets to work here or not, you know? So, what do you want to know about him? How about this? Uh, can I take a seat with you and just ask you a few questions, maybe? That's cool? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't want to harass you. You're good. All right. I mean, there's space right. between us. You're good. All right, yeah. You know, I ain't going to touch you now. Okay, so this whole sitting down talking to Maya about Cole is just into the ploy, guys. What we really want to accomplish here is for Maya to see and believe that Anthony really is the boss. Hey, uh, Jay. Jay. So, in order to accomplish this, we first have him order Jay around. He tells him to go clean the table, and then he actually gets Maya to order a drink from him. Let's get water, no ice. Well, actually, I... You know what? You know what? If she's getting water, I will get water too. Then he reaches for his clipboard and pulls out Cole's resume that he walked in with. So uh, I was looking at uh, Cole's resume. It looks like he's had prior restaurant experience. Right. Tell me some things about him. Is uh, Sorry, is he is he reliable? Guys. Can I trust him? Is he honest? Luke Walmart. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. You're good guy, man. You're a good guy. Go ahead, take yourself a break. But make sure you get the table. Get the table. Yeah, that table needs attention. <laughs> yeah. So like, is he is he honest? Is he reliable? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Now that we feel that Ant has solidified his position, it's time to get him out of there and send Cole back. But Ant can't leave without getting Maya's number first. But how can we do this without coming off weird and also guaranteeing that Maya will say yes? <laughs> Oh, excuse me, Jesus. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> well, here's the plan we came up with. Anthony has had a walkie-talkie on his hip this entire time. Guess who has the other one? <clears throat> hey, um, Ant, 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 um, there's an emergency. Can you please come over here, please? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why are we trying to get Ant away from Maya when everything is going so well? On my way. Sorry, I gotta cut this short, unfortunately. Don't even worry about it. Well, just listen up and watch how this plays out. Because I'm cutting you short and I've kind of wasted your time, would you like to come here anytime you want with your friends and family and get free food? Really? Yeah. Uh, on the house? Yeah, on the house. Free drinks, whiskey, tequila, Duh. all the way to our chicken wings, which you've avoided so much. <laughs> anything, anything. It doesn't matter. Are you matter. serious? Yes, absolutely. She's probably going to take him up on it. She should. And she will. Because who would be dumb enough to turn down free food and drinks? Not a problem. So she's down to do it, yeah. and, and guess what he needs though in order for her right, to do that? Right. The number. <laughs> right. So Ant now pulls out his phone and hands it to Maya, who then puts her number in it because she's smart and she wants that free food. But again, it's not bad. It's, no, not, it's, it's not bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's chill. Ant now has Maya's number and he can now make his exit. But before he does so, he drops some money on the table in front of her. So he's handing her a $100 bill. Real. Not prop money. Real. What's that for? It's just for the waters and for whatever else you want to order. We didn't even order anything. I, I just, just take it, please. No, 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 no. I'm cool. I'm don't. I, this, this is the, this is the largest bill I have. I told you, as I told you, I do pretty well for myself. Maya does not feel comfortable taking the one hundred dollars because all they ordered was water. But Ant won't take no for an answer. I can't take that. No, no you can take it. And you, you can use it for something. Put it towards something. I don't know. Like go get your hair done or something. Get your nails done. Go get your hair done. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, uh, it was nice meeting you. By the way. All right, Maya, you have a good one, and make sure you get in contact with me, okay? All right. So now Ant officially makes his exit, which also means that Cole's interview is over. You're going to go back to her and stuff, okay? okay. So, um, yeah, when you go back, just, yeah, just, just play cool. Ant did a really great job playing his character and succeeding in getting Maya's number. That was good. That was really, really, really good. <laughs> now it is time to focus on planning phase number two. How was it? So we want to make sure that phase number two goes just as smooth as phase number one. So Ant has been keeping in touch with Maya since the moment that he got her number. Earlier today, Ant asked Maya if she'd like to do some modeling for an album cover to one of his songs. That's right, for those of you guys who didn't know, Ant is an up and coming artist. You guys should follow him here, but not now. Wait till the video is over. Just screenshot this for now. So yeah, she said she done. How much did you tell her that you were gonna pay her? I told her ass 300. $300 for a 20 minute photo shoot, $300. Yeah, my nigga, you gotta, I gotta show her I'm rich. $300 is pretty steep, but you know what? Ant is right. This is a gold digger test after all. So the next day comes and we make our way to the location where we want this photo shoot to happen. And look who's here to meet us. There he is. There is Yokes. Bruh. Yokes the plug is meeting us up this phase and thankfully he is not alone. With him, he has brought the all new 2019 Jaguar F10 
Prototype R, which runs at 550 horsepower, has a 5.0 liter V8 engine, and sells brand new for over $100,000. So special thanks to our friends at Wheelow Lifestyle for letting Yokes borrow this car. I feel like Batman in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wanna hear this thing start? Yeah, start the this kitty oh, car, baby. Yeah. Rev it, Yokes. This thing is. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, stop! Stop! That's enough! <laughs> As you guys might have guessed, this will be the car that Anthony will be using in order to impress Maya some more. And speaking of Maya, let's give her a call and see where she's at. Hello? Yes, Maya. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm actually uh, here. I'm just waiting to see how far you are. Um, I'm almost there. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. I'll see you I'll then. I'll let you know when I'm, I'm right in the front. All right, cool. All right, that's awesome. Okay, Maya is almost here, which means we only have a couple of minutes left to prep. But that's okay because there's really only one last thing left to do. Guys, this is real $100 bills. This is no joke right here. Remember, Ant told Maya that he was supposed to be paying her $300. However, because this is a Gold Digger video, you're gonna give her a little more. You gotta look. I'll let you decide the amount. Just remember, she's keeping the money, so don't give her too much. It's probably the dumbest idea to let Ant decide exactly how much to pay Maya, but there's no time left to think. We have to back up the car to the alley across the street and hide because Maya will be getting here at any minute. Minute. Our cameraman Denzel is staying behind with Ant because he is playing the photographer of Maya's photo shoot. I don't know why, but I'm nervous. We all anxiously wait a couple more minutes and then finally Maya gives Ant a call that she has arrived in her Uber. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, I think I'm outside. Are you here? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. I'm actually about to get out the car right now. So Ant heads to go meet up Maya where she was dropped off. They greet each other off camera for about a minute or so, and then finally, Ant returns back into the scene with her to begin phase number two. He first introduces her to Denzel, as planned. So he's the he's the photographer. He's the guy. He's going to make you look fantastic. And then he instructs her on what shots he's looking for. Want to do some on the outside of the car, maybe some alleyway shots. Is this okay, though? Like, my outfit? No, yeah, you look, you look fantastic. Are you sure? Okay. Bon appetit. <laughs> Just like a snack. All right. Stop. One thing I should mention though is because this is just the flash phase, we decided to not wear headphones and listen in. I mean, we already know what's gonna happen. All that Ant's doing right now is just flashing money. That's really it. So that's why we decided to not use any audio and stuff. I mean, I would love to hear what they're talking about, but you know, it's cool. <laughs> well, in the video, you'll be able to right. hear exactly what. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. You're me laugh. And so the photo shoot begins, and in mostly all of the shots, Maya's just laughing because of Anthony's remarks and comments. What a beautiful smile. Yeah. Give him some serious face. Get angry. Hey, Work it, girl. <laughs> now give me the lip. Yeah. Give me the lip. But what Maya ends up looking like in the pictures doesn't matter, guys, because again, this isn't a real photo shoot. Damn, you know what I wish I would have done? Oh. I wish I would have put a camera inside the car. Oh, yeah. Damn, that would have been nice. What, what, uh, what you doing? Uh, and what I also should have done was link up to a phone call with Ant in order to listen in on to what was being said because things are about to get really interesting. Oh, you could, I could be Santa, you, you could sit on my lap. Yeah, you sit on my lap. Excuse you? <laughs> <laughs> he really wants me to sit on his lap. I'm just being photographers. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, what's happening? From our distance, we could barely see what was going on, but we were able to make out that Maya was sitting on Ant's lap, which does not mean anything. I mean, at least not yet. But for the first time ever, Cole actually seems nervous. Oh man. How do you feel about her? I mean, I, I wish I could hear what's going on right what? now. Same here, but the moment quickly fades and the photo shoot continues. But as I'm editing this now and listening to the audio, I gotta be honest and say that it's really hard to tell if Maya is flirting, if that's just her personality, or if she just did that because it was a paid gig. Okay, that's like weird. Do some pose, like, don't fucking like do prompts. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, though, the shoot wraps up, and now it is time to get to the good part of this face. No, you did. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, I'm, I think I think you did a good job. I honestly think you did a good job. Okay, he's busting out the cash. I know I said 300, but um, he's cowing. Look oh, at him thumbing. I see him thumbing. Okay, now I regret not wearing headphones because I'm really curious I how much paid. I, 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 I want to know how much he's paid. I want to know what the heck they're talking about. I'm gonna hook it up for you today. I'm gonna pay you one, two, three, stop, four, no, no. five, six. Seven. 
Seven hundred dollars for Stop it. Stop it. No. Are you serious? I don't exactly know how much extra Ant is gonna pay her, but I just told him pay her extra. I don't want to know, but he definitely gave me more than what I needed. Are so. you for real? For real? Oh yeah, no, I'm absolutely serious. Yeah. I'm gonna need to be reimbursed, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's not part of the contract, sir. <laughs> Maya is so shocked that she can't even let out a thank you. But Ant doesn't need a thank you. A simple hug is enough. Oh, oh yeah. there's a hug. Oh. There's a hug. There you what go. Are you clapping for? It? That's not good for you. Yeah. I, she just got paid. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I yeah. You got a point. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just proud of my girl right now, yeah. you know? She's working. At least yeah. it wasn't a kiss, you know? I'm proud of that. Uh huh. You need to ride home and stuff? No, I'm okay. But thank I mean, you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. Well, how are, you, how are you getting home? So Maya's planning on taking an Uber home, but Ant has other plans. He insists on giving her a ride home, and she finally gives in. We can't hear a thing, but it looks like, <gasps> wait. It's not a bad thing that she accepted the ride, but it is a little awkward. Only because for all Maya knows, Denzel needs a ride home too. Denzel, I'm sorry. This is only a two-seater, so. <laughs> Hey, look, you know you my boy, man. You look, you, you know you my boy, you know, you know you my what boy. You mean? I don't, you, you have to call an Uber. No, you get your ass in the car. I'm, I, I'm gonna take you home. Hey, look. No, I feel so bad. It's, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I just paid you that goddamn money. I feel so, no. Hey, Dizel, hit me up when you get home, man. Stay jazzy, brother. Oh, I'm savage. He's walking. This boy's savage. Yeah, is he making his friend walk? At least offer him a, a damn wow. Uber. You're rich. You're supposed to be rich. Right. So Anthony makes his photographer walk home, which is savage, but pretty irrelevant to the test. The good thing is that he successfully completed this phase. Now Ant will just drop off Maya, and then later tonight, we will plan phase number three. This guy got kidnapped. Where's Ant? There he is. Look at Look at this. Look at this. He looks mad. He looks mad. <laughs> they left you out in the rain, in the Savage. cold. Did he offer you? Oh, yes. Tell me he offered no, you. No, he, he wasn't even he, focused on me. <laughs> So how are you feeling after yesterday? Are you feeling down because he sat on his lap and everything? <laughs> I honestly forgot about that until you just brought it up. <laughs> so, are you no. ready for phase three? Yeah, I'm ready for it. I kind of forget exactly like what we're doing for that, but I mean, I'm ready. Phase three is the final phase of this test. Now that Ant has introduced himself as the owner of a restaurant to Maya, made her laugh, flashed how rich he is, flirt a little, gave her money, and showed off his $100,000 car. It's finally time to see if Maya will dump coal for Anthony. Okay, so that one's gonna happen at the restaurant again. Ant's been keeping in touch with the girlfriend and he basically told her that tomorrow he's throwing this dinner for like a bunch of his friends and stuff and he invited her to come. And okay. just to make a very long story short, cause I'm not trying to bore you or the viewers. She agreed to come. Obviously though, there's no get together or anything like that. He's just gonna be asking her on a date and stuff and yeah. You gotta get there early and then we'll be hiding in the car and stuff and listening in. Okay. Let me ask you something. Do you still think she's gonna pass this test? I mean, I know she will. I'm not worried about it. You are making me more worried by always like asking me, so I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Cole over here, ready to listen in. And we have Madeline, who just came from her internship, hey. joining us. We have two camera angles already set up in the restaurant. And right now, I'm just currently waiting for Ant to shoot me a call. That way we can listen into everything. But he's not going to call me until Maya gets here and stuff. So. And thankfully, about 20 minutes later, we get the call. Yeah, uh, she's here now. Okay, sounds good. Um, keep, keep the phone close to you, that way we can hear fully, okay? As Ant steps out the front of the restaurant to greet Maya, we reposition ourselves and get ready to listen in. In seconds, Ant walks back in through the front door with Maya by his side. He hastily proceeds to sitting her exactly where we want him to sit her. Sweet. Remember, Maya is expecting a packed restaurant. She's tripping out right now because nobody's there. She expected a lot of people there and she walked in and it's empty. I told everybody not to come because I felt like it would be better if, you know, we just had a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing rather than it being a bunch of different people here. Ant tries to explain to Maya that he canceled with everyone else to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. And surprisingly, she took it pretty well. I do this every freaking month, so. Oh, okay, then fuck it. Yeah, okay, that'd be good, exactly. See what I'm saying? But let's get to the good part. Jay once again is playing the waiter and he comes over to greet them and bring them some water. Ant suggests some foods that Maya should order and Jay returns a second time to take the official order. Ant ends up going with chicken wings and Maya ends up ordering a salad. And after a couple more minutes of small talk, Ant finally begins to make his move. Has anybody ever told you this before? You are extremely beautiful. Stop, Ant. No, I'm not. I'm not joking. You're You're, joking. you're, 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 you're making me blush right now. I, I just gotta be honest with you. I, can, I gotta say it like fine. Like, oh my Stop God. Stop it. Fine. Oh my fine. God. You're ridiculous. Stop it. Like, every time I look at you, I gotta hide the fact that I be licking my lips. 
<laughs> oh, oh. God. this guy's a Ew. savage. You know what I mean? It leads me to a, a, a conversation that I wanted to have with you. I actually want to have what? a serious conversation. What is it about? You remember the day when, uh, oh, so, oh, look what we have. Here's your wings. Oh, I'm so Jesus. sorry. The salad's oh. coming right out. Okay. Damn it, Jay interrupted at the good part. <laughs> I think he was getting to it. Look at that. You know, the weight of my heart, excuse me if I may, is a chicken wing. Is he eating like in front of her face? <laughs> He's not even being like, oh, I'm gonna wait until your salad gets here and then we'll start eating. Right. <laughs> He's just. Oh, anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about was remember that day when. Gosh dang it, Jay, can you stop interrupting? <laughs> so, remember the day that we were um, doing the photo shoot? Right. And, you, and, and uh, when I paid you uh, that 700. You mentioned how grateful you were because you were struggling at the moment. You needed uh, an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, like I was kind of doing some thinking. Okay, I think this is it right here. I want like to, to, to help you, but I want to like cater to you and take care of you. Like, I don't want to see you struggle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's really sweet. Like, I appreciate it. No, like serious. Like, it, it, go, it goes beyond the average shit. I'm talking hair done, <laughs> nails done, that rent paid. Good. Bills pay everything. I want to be anything and everything I can for you. Smooth. It is. Smooth. Can, I, can, can he also pay for Cole's bills though? <laughs> I mean, sure. I'm down. <laughs> You're down, right? Yeah. Most guys are. But don't think that I just say this to any woman. I don't just go around telling girls, no, hey, I want to do no, all this stuff not. for you. I mean, you're a man and you do have hoes. But... That, that's just a stigma. And I'm not that kind of guy. I'm growing up and I, I kind of want to be a woman, one woman type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I want it to be exclusive and I want you to be that person. I want you to be that girl. What do you mean? Like the only girl that that you know, you'll never have to work again. All the all the things I promised you. Like I want that to be exclusive between the two of us. Is there a catch to this? Like Well, basically, okay, let me stop fucking beating around the bush. <laughs> so basically, Maya, I want you to be my girlfriend. Damn! So Ant has straight up just popped the question and he has Maya shook. She is completely speechless. But what will she respond? She believes that Ant is rich, they've connected on multiple levels, and now she's been offered to be taken care of. The only thing that is standing in her way to a financially secure future is Cole. So will she drop him for Ant? No, I can't, right? I have a boyfriend. Why can't you? I have a boyfriend. So what? What does that have to do anything? Drop him. He's about to work for me anyway. <gasps> I can't tell if you're joking or not. I'm being dead ass serious. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm being like, really? so serious. Why, why would you think I'm joking? There's nobody here. I made everybody not come. I set the right tone for you. So this is what it's all about. You came here. You showed me all the money that you have. So you just, so you can buy me? So, just don't even start that shit. Nobody's trying to buy you, okay? But, good, but good. who would be opposed to the idea? Oops! What? This, this man, this man is- I am, no, I'm not for sale. No matter how much money you have, you can't buy me. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 So, you're basically saying that you want to date a guy who makes thirteen twenty-five an hour, wow. can't do anything for you, can't pay your bills, because he's still taking care of himself, right? That's what you want, right? That's what you're saying, right? He's still going at it, man. He's still he's going at fine. it. He's not giving up. Why can't we just be friends? You didn't answer my question. I can make my own money. Okay. Whoa. That's, that's cool. Sorry. Here, right, there there goes goes you so There goes oh. the salad. Damn it, Jay! Stop interrupting! At the damn good part. You're fired. Jesus, Jay, you're killing the vibe and intensity of this. Give Maya her salad that she probably forgot about and get the hell out of there. I just, honestly, like, I'm not gonna break up with my boyfriend just to be with you right now. We could just be friends and do fun things together. I mean, we could be friends, but now that you put it this way, I've already hired him, so instead of paying him $13.25, I'll pay the motherfucking $9 an hour. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's see how long this relationship lasts. How long were you guys even dating in the first place? A few months. A few months, and you can't drop him? He is going at it! He won't give up. He's not giving up! She's not giving in, though, guys. Is you no. saying? So you just rather be rather us be friends? I'm not that type of person. Okay, um, 
At last, after multiple attempts, Ant finally throws in the towel. Maya has passed this test. She is a little irritated though, so she gets up, excuses herself, and heads to the restroom. I'm assuming that she's either cooling off or trying to figure out an excuse to get the hell out of there. Cole now has a very important decision to make. Will he go in there and congratulate her, or will he decide to just leave and hope she never finds out about this? We've watched stuff like this together before. It's entertaining, it's funny, yeah, and yeah. I think like she'll be understanding. Like, So what are you saying? Are you saying you want to go in there and talk to her? And be like, surprise, ha -ha. Because again, you could just dip out right now and she never finds out about anything. What's she say? She's not going for it. What you mean she's, she's not, not going for it? She's not a gold digger, bro. I, I don't know. I kind of want to be real with her. And I kind of want to just like, I, I want to get the full reaction too. So like, let's just, let's just do it. Let's What's go in there. What, what do you think, Madeline? I'm with Cole to go inside. <laughs> Let's do it. Wow. Cole had his chance to walk away clean from this and there it went. And lucky for him, Maya makes her way back from the restroom and despite the awkward tension, she sits back down and decides to enjoy her salad. I'm sorry about everything I was saying. Uh, maybe I came off a little bit too strong. Uh, I'm fine with being friends if that's okay. Last chance to turn around and leave. No, bro. Last let's, chance. We're out of the car. Let's, get, let's do it. Are you, we got this. Are you sure? Yes. Cole really wants to do this, so you guys already know what that means. If you guys don't already have them, then it's time to head to the store to grab some Takis because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. So Cole wanted to find out if his girlfriend would end up trading him for another guy who had more money. And since there was never any strain on the relationship, he was confident that she wouldn't trade him. Well, after placing her through a very elaborate test, it turned out that he was right. So now he's decided to come clean and reveal to her the test that she just went through, despite me trying to convince him otherwise. But considering that they have a very healthy relationship, Cole is also convinced that after everything is said and done, everything will be okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, come here. What are you doing here? What's all this? Surprise. So Maya, what you should know is that this entire thing has actually all just been part of a big giant test. Like we were actually, like it was our idea to try to find out if you would end up leaving Cole for Anthony. And so that's why we, um, we that's why we actually had you guys meet. He, he planned the whole photo shoot. He paid you extra. He was basically like flashing his money to you and stuff. And then he ended up asking you out and you said no to him and you stayed loyal to your boyfriend, which means, you know, you passed the test and everything. So, right. so yeah, that's- I'm sorry, I still think you find us here. <laughs> but but like, no. like, like, like I'm saying, it was, a, it was a test. We wanted to find out if you would leave him. You didn't leave him, which was good and stuff. And so that's why all the cameras are here because this is actually for YouTube and stuff. And yeah, but it's, it's yeah. Yeah, so like the first time I came here for the interview, right? Cool. Me, me and Serge were in the back. We were listening, watching. Right. And so you set me up. No, it's, it's not a setup. This it's, is basically a setup. It's it, it's like more like a test. Like, so again, you it's like tested a test. me to see if I would leave you for him. You fucking doubted me. This is a fucking setup. I didn't doubt you. It's not a setup. My friend Madeline, actually, she did one of these before. She showed it to me. Thought it was funny. It's like a social experiment. I didn't think you would like, Wait, you didn't think I would pass? No, I trust you. I mean, I, I right, knew you were going to pass. Right, because I'm fucking loyal to you, Cole. I know you are. I no, know. you clearly don't. I do. I'm sorry. What the fuck I, did I do to make you think that I was fucking cheating on you? You didn't do anything. It's Shoot, just... Dude, again, my, my, again, if it helps, it was our, uh, it, it was our fault. He did No, just get all the cameras out of my way. Guys, can you back up? Can you guys back up? Maya, wait. I didn't think you'd react this way. I'm trying to tell you, it's just like a social experiment. I did, I, well, I would never do this to you. If, if you guys want to honestly talk outside and stuff, like you guys can. Like Maya, again, it was Dude, just get out of my it? face, stop. Cole, what the fuck did I do? You yeah. have fucking trust issues. You hired people to fucking check on me? You could do it to me. I, I mean, I, I don't think I would care as much as you're- Right, but then again, I wouldn't do it to you because I'm not insecure, Cole. Sorry, like I, I really didn't. You're not insecure. Am I going crazy? Am I insecure? I don't know. I'm well, what I'm... is this? Come, come on! What the fuck? I'm sorry. Wait. What? And with that, Maya exits the restaurant. Things did not go as I'm sure Cole was expecting them to go. I mean, maybe Maya overreacted, but at the same time, she kind of has a right to be mad. Ironically, I think she's the one who feels like she got betrayed. But whatever the case though, Cole wanted us to test his girlfriend. We tested her, she passed, but unfortunately, it still ended pretty dramatically. Maya has proven that she is not a gold digger, and I honestly just hope after a couple of minutes or hours or days, these two can still work things out.
So before we start, I'm just gonna say straight up, we're filming this whole thing, we're recording this, this is going to go in the video that we plan on uploading and stuff, and yeah, Cole told me that you guys broke up for good and stuff, and that's why I had Ant send you like a link to our channel so they could check out what we did and why we do it and so on and so on and so on, and I wanted to reach out personally to you and tell you like, yo, I'm sorry, like I really, really am. I mean, like, honestly, like don't be sorry. Like I checked out your guys' channel and you guys are like legit hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so surprised that day and plus like honestly it's not even any of your guys's fault if cole like took the situation seriously and didn't kind of like make it all like a joke i probably would have understood him better but instead he kind of was just like why are you mad you know like you can test me too what, what did what what did you want him to say like why did he even do it in the first place he like he knew from the very get-go that you were going to pass like he didn't doubt you he didn't like lose hope in you like he knew so about the whole entire test if you knew it would jeopardize our relationship why even do it you know what i mean he he i just well you know what i guess we're just not at the same page so you're telling me he never apologized then i mean i don't even think his apology counts if you're gonna say i'm sorry like it was a joke that's not an apology like sound more sincere yeah well i mean from this moment on like you won't hear from us again and stuff like we're gonna post this video though because we have cole's consent and cole told us that it's okay to still post it however we're gonna cover your face up and everything this is gonna be an emoji over it no one's ever gonna find out who you are um yeah all that stuff so you don't you know honestly you don't even have to do that like i don't mind showing you my face <laughs> You don't, you don't mind at all? No, I don't. A lot of people are going to see this video, though. Like, so, like well, potentially a lot of people. They don't know where I live. They don't know my social security number. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you're telling me you're down. You're, you're down to show your face. Yes. Okay, there it is. I took it off. <laughs> I meant to ask you. Also, I checked out your Instagram. Is Maya your real name? Because no, I, saw, I saw you. I saw like your middle name is May, and then your first name is. Well, I don't know if you want me to say your first name, but yeah. yeah. So Maya is actually not my name. It's Florence May. But Cole decided to call me Maya. I guess he was dating some some chick back then. You know, whatever. So and he's dating like, Maya. But you go, you go by Maya? I was going by it because I liked it at the time when I was dating Lil C. But <laughs> Wait, I didn't know it so, at all. So, so you don't want me to call you Maya anymore? No, you, I, don't call me Maya. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Lil C, what is up? <laughs> She did. <laughs> she also told me that you call her Maya as a nickname of a girl that you used to date. You were so bad. Why? <laughs> that was like my, my kindergarten, like, great white buffalo, the day that got away, you know? And, uh, she, I don't know, she thought it was funny. She thought it was cute. And then... Oh, wait, oh, wait. oh she, she was your kindergarten crush. She was my kindergarten crush. Oh. I thought she it was, like, so your bad. ex or something. No. So, how you feeling? How you doing? I'm all right. I think she's okay, too. So, I don't know. I'm... I'm moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm back on the market, boys. <laughs> <laughs>